What's going on guys, T-Mart here, and today I am very excited to start off a new series with you guys here on this channel. This, my friends, is Mafia 3. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I have never played a Mafia game before, but I have been incredibly excited for this game to come out. It looks insane. All the commercials and advertisements and things I've seen for it, just it looks crazy. It looks like a game that's right up our alley. It's a free world action adventure. Guns, cars, explosions, just all kinds of badassery. It looks like it's going to be amazing. I'm so glad you guys are here to be along for the ride. Thumbs up if you guys are excited. Without further ado, let's hop into it. So, select your difficulty. Let's go with medium and then aim assist. It's automatically on high, but I think I'll go with low. We'll give ourselves a little bit of a challenge. It's always a delicate balance with Let's Plays because you want it to be a challenge, but you also want it to be not too difficult that you can't really focus on the story, you know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, this is supposed to be, like, almost like a GTA, I think. It takes place in old-school New Orleans. It's called New Bordeaux in the game, but it's it's based on New Orleans. So, you know, back in the day, lots of racism, lots of gangs and violence and all kinds of stuff like that. It's going to be a, uh, a very interesting game. I think it's going to be pretty intense, but I'm looking forward to it. I think, uh, I think it's going to be a really good series. So, thank you guys for being here. Mafia 3 takes place in the fictionalized version of the American South in 1968. We sought to create an authentic and immersive experience that captures very turbulent time and place, including depictions of racism. We find the race, beliefs, language, and behaviors of some of the characters in the game abhorrent, but believe it's vital to include these depictions in order to tell Lincoln Clay's story. Most importantly, we felt that not to include this very real and shameful part of our past would have been offensive to the millions who faced and still face bigotry, discrimination, prejudice, and racism in all of its forms. Wow. All right. This is going to be pretty intense, but here we go, guys. New Bordeaux. Ooh, 2K presents. We like 2K games. More NBA coming. New Bordeaux. Soon. A modern city with traditional southern values. I underestimated how far he was going to go. What he was willing to do. Visit the historic French Ward and enjoy local cuisine at one of our five-star restaurants. Killing them wasn't enough. Lincoln Clay was using them to send a message. Or spend the afternoon in the bayou and take in its natural splendor. Sal Marcano had no idea what he was going to unleash. New Bordeaux. Safe. Family-oriented <laughs> fun. Make it your next vacation destination. This city survived the War of 1812, the Civil War, and God knows how many hurricanes. But when Lincoln Clay went after the mob, he inflicted more damage than all the wars and hurricanes combined. Wow. And that's who we're playing as, Lincoln Clay. That's the main character. We're starting an organization to take on the Clay Italian mob. His mother abandoned him in 1947, a couple of years after he was born. His mother, I heard she was Dominican. I always figured his father was white, maybe even not Italian. Not that it mattered. Back then, if you look black, you black. Same as today, I suppose. He stayed at the orphanage until 1958. Now, when did you meet Lincoln Clay? 1966. I was running black ops out of Laos on behalf of the CIA. He was loaned out to me via joint CIA DOD task force. He was a quiet boy. Good boy. Two Purple Hearts, a bronze star, and the Distinguished Service Cross. He served his country with honor and distinction. After the city closed the orphanage, he fell in with Sammy Robinson. Sammy ran the black mob over in Delray Hollow. I can't say I approve. But often colored boys didn't have a lot of options back then. Boys like Lincoln, the ones who've been abandoned, they're always looking for a home. Always looking for a place to belong. I think he thought he'd find it in the army. Thing is, once that's lost, Never get it back again. When he returned from the war, 
Lincoln ended back up over at Sammy's. Now Sammy owed the Italian mob a whole lot of money. And he needed Lincoln's help. It's a damn shame what happened. It breaks my heart. Alright guys, here we go. New Bordeaux, February 27th, 1968. Mardi Gras. Feed a gator two chickens for 75 cents. I would totally do that. That sounds like fun. Still say this is the craziest goddamn thing I ever heard. Using real money to rob the feds. Well, hell man, not like this is our cash. This all came from Skeletta. Besides, peanuts compared to what we're gonna haul out of there. Is everything we need to burn? Yeah, that's it. I grabbed the keys to the truck, then we can get the fuck out of here. All right, here we go. Why take the chance? Pick up the keys. Hey, man, grab those keys. I got the keys, keys, keys. I got the keys, keys, keys. Still not sure about leaving him like this. He came through with the truck just like we asked. He even greased his partner to make it look good. You got doubts? Why take the chance? Huh. Keys so he came. Room. Grab him so we can get the hell out of here. He helped us out. Like he did us a solid. Can we let him go? Can we untie him or something? Gagged, mumbling. Let's untie him. <gasps> no! Oh my God! No! No! We should get going. You got the keys, so you can drive. Come on, let's get the hell out of here. I thought we were untying him. Oh my god, dude. I thought we were untying him for being good to us. Holy cow. What? Alright, drive to the Federal Reserve. Here we go. This game started out with a bang, that's for sure. Take it easy here in the town. We don't need the cops crawling up our asses. Mm. My old man wanted us to keep one of the guards alive, help throw the feds off the trail. Like you said, I take a chance. Besides, if I learn anything from being over in Nam, someone's willing to flip sides once, we're probably willing to do it a second time. Fuck you in the process. So answer me this. What's the craziest thing you saw over there? You don't want to know. Hell, man, I'm a taxpayer. I got the right to know how my money's being spent. Oh, Georgie Marcano pays taxes. Damn right I do. That's how they got Al Capone, and I ain't going to prison for no fucking tax bill. Huh. <laughs> Are you going to answer the question or what? We, uh... We on the coast of Quang Nai. Evacuating the civvies for Charlie overran everything. Anyway, we get him onto a medical ship. And this woman walks up. She's got a baby in one hand and the leash to a pig in the other. She starts up the ramp, and the MP stops her and tells her, you can only bring one thing on board. So she tosses the baby into the water. MP goes ape. Tells someone dive in after the kid, starts screaming at the woman, wants to know what the fuck she's thinking. You know what she says to him? She says, I can always have another baby. Oh my god! Jesus. Fucking Christ. Hey, man, you asked. <laughs> yeah, but I thought you were going to tell me a story about some goop getting his dick blown off or something. I mean, God damn. It's not a fault. But not like you think. The conditions over there, man. Jesus Christ. One day, you're raising cattle, tending your rice. Next day, everything bombed flat. You put people up against the wall, they will do anything to survive. That better been one delicious fucking pig. <laughs> Be some good old bacon. Oh my gosh, that's insane. This game is... Whew, this is intense. I already had a couple of uh, questionable situations. Guys at the Missouri. Shut up, man. You're gonna attract attention. Sorry. Uh, like I was saying. Guards at the Missouri probably won't be too keen on you waltzing around with that piece of yours. I'll just leave it under the seat. So what I think we're doing is we disguised as armored truck operators 
We're taking money as a deposit to the reserve, and then we're going to try to take even more money and gold out. It's going to be interesting. Here we go. Holy cow, dude. I can't believe we executed him like that. That was, that was something else. Back it up to the loading dock. Did a triple check on us. We made it though. Some of these fellas might get a little uh, rough with the language and... Well, I ain't like I've never been called nigga before. Nah, I know, but I'm just saying if I go along with it, ain't nothing poison. The only thing I care about is getting our hands on that money. Here we go. Okay. When I say something about being hot, that's when we make our move. All right. Well. Enter the Federal Reserve. Now, here we go. Put your IDs up the glass. We're part of the Boeing crew. What the fuck's this shit heel doing here? Affirmative action. You know how it is. Old country is spinning around a goddamn toilet. You can follow me. As for you, go on and grab those bags off the truck. You'll be carrying them to the burning room. How much y'all bring in? $238,546. Small bills, mostly. <laughs> I'll have Miss Gale call up your office when we're done. She'll confirm the delivery. Appreciate it. All right, so we're taking this to the burn room. You need to check that scatter gun. You packing anything? Still in training. Good. One less goddamn thing for me to worry about. You can pick it up on the way out. Okay, so they take your shotgun. Burn room's down in the cellar. This way. I ain't seen y'all around these parts before. Y'all's over in Georgia for a while. He just got out the service. My cousin's been trying to get on here for over a year now. Was in the Navy for two tours. Got medals falling out of his ass. Government tells him thanks, but no thanks. That's a crock of shit if I ever heard one. Sad day when a God-fearing white man can't get a job. And that young nigga who staggers in is hide on the spot. I hate people, man. I just, like, I'm gonna get upset at times during this Let's Play. That just makes me sick. That there are people like that in this world. Be playing with each other back there. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! Christ, look at that. Didn't know y'all held that much gold. Uh, Washington's been shuffling around on account of the war. It's here, then it gets sent to Dallas, then it comes back. Uh, it doesn't make a lick of goddamn sense. Here we are. Put those bags on the table there. Never done this deep. Stacks, before. baby. Figured it'd be bigger. I guess the job done. Only time there's a problem is when the flu clogs up. Fuck. That's some heat right there. We used to use coal for it, but a year or so back we switched over to oil. Maintains a more consistent flame. Yeah, some guy come around the house trying to switch me. <gasps> okay, that's one way to do it. Asshole. We need to move. Danny and Ellis should be coming up any time now. Uh, give me a second. <clears throat> oh my god, dude. I thought we were gonna like choke him out or something, but we your ass down. You don't want them getting a drop on us. I know what the fuck I'm doing. I am fucking exhausted. We're hiding behind money right now. X to take cover. We've been written out. Called over there last night. Told them I wanted to sell it. 
told them they needed to be out in two weeks. And the man, his name's uh, John, starts laying into me, saying the lease gives them the right to 30 day notice. That's how he's supposed to find a new place in two weeks. So I tell him none of that's my goddamn problem. It's my property, and I'll do with it what I please. And if it brings up. Sorry, bud. You're done. Alright, let's get in the vault. We should probably pick up this gun too, right? Alright. Holy cow, this is intense! Oh, I hope this combination skeleto got us is legit. We got it, I'll baby. All right, go for it, Godzilla. <clears throat> Holy fucking <laughs> shit. It's beautiful. Big bills. All right, I'm gonna take care of this room. You see what you can get from outside. <clears throat> Once these boys punch you with that drill, we're gonna start throwing this down. Alarm? Shit, I didn't notice this cage was on a different system. All right, we're gonna hold off the guards until Danny's done drilling. Hey, you gonna pull this off? We're gonna have to. Holy cow, that would suck, dude. All right. Can I pick this up? There we go. All right. Weapons menu, hold L1, quick swap, press L1. Ooh, there's a Tommy gun over there, too. I think you get in the sides as well. Let's try this Tommy gun. Got four shots left in this. Amos is controls. I think it's pretty good like it is. I'm not too worried about it. Only way we walk out of here is if we get the weapons stored in that armory. Bust the door open. I'll watch our ass. Alright, there's an armory down here. So we're gonna defend him. Shit up! Come on, man. You getting it open or what? Homie. My old man gonna shit a brick when he hears about this. Fuck. Just get in there, man. It doesn't matter. Try open the armory gate. Give me that damn thing. Lock pulling. Step one, expose the lock, rotate L until it's in the green zone, and then press square. Step two, pull the lock, press square when the indicator hits the green zone. Got it! Nice. Right, we've got an MG and a pistol. I'm gonna take the MG. We've also got a health kit thing on the wall. Okay. Shit, man, these guys ain't fucking around. The smoke. Way worse than this over in Nam. Little smoke don't mean shit. Stay close to the vault. Watch for the drill. I'll deal with these assholes. Boys, a goddamn cop. Well, Sammy had men all over the place. And one of them worked at a cleaner's and stole the uniforms Georgie Marcano and Lincoln Clay wore on the day of the robbery. Another one was a janitor at the Federal Reserve 
And he provided a rough layout. The robbery of the Federal Reserve was timed perfectly, and none of it would have been possible without the involvement of Sammy Robinson, Lincoln Clay, and the rest of the black mob. February 20th, 1968. So this is a week before what just happened. A little flashback. You just come from Vietnam? That's right. I was a Marine in the Pacific. You can take it from me. Just because you're home doesn't mean you're back. You understand? People around here, they don't... They don't get it. Never will. <laughs> Keep your ass out of trouble. <laughs> we did an awful job of that. Sorry I'm late. Got caught up crossing the bridge. Don't worry about it. Excuse me, sir. I'm looking for my stepbrother, Lincoln Clay. You seen him? He used to get ticked off if you were even a minute late. Kiss my ass. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> <laughs> How was the trip? Is how this is the first time in four years, and somebody telling me where to go, what to do, or how to do it. It was fucking great. <laughs> mm. What's new with the old man? Man, don't even get me started on pops. He used to pull his head out of his ass. Same as ever then. Brother, you have no fucking idea. Damn, Ellis. She's looking good. <laughs> Just like I left her. Man, even I know not to fuck around with your cop. Mm. All right, come on. I'm ready to go home. Mm. <laughs> All right. Routes. Set route, pressing options button, open the map, press X, select the mission of the map. All right, we can do that. So we're going to go to our options. Where's our mission? Over here? This is our mission? New Bordeaux, the home fires burn. Turns out things back home may not be as quiet as you expected. Here we go. So Sammy's doing all right. Ever since we got your telegram about coming home, he's been climbing the walls. What if the plane crashes? What if the train's delayed? What if they call him back? And he goes stand in front of the kitchen window and sip his whiskey like he was expecting you to come strolling up the sidewalk. Don't say nothing about me telling you that. I won't. He'll be fine once he sees you. Ever since Mama Hell, you know how he gets. Driving feels pretty good in this game. Need to figure out... Circle's the e-brake. We gotta use circle. Test the drifting. Oh yeah, that feels pretty good. Ooh, police awareness. The police will attack you if you commit cri crimes, act suspiciously, or break traffic laws within range. Of their awareness. Police awareness is indicated by the police awareness indicator in the center of the screen. You remember Marty and Ron Langford? Sure. They moved up to Empire Bay Those years cops so right after back you there. shipped out. Started selling weed. They call and ask me if I want something. I say shop. Free me. Fuck it, it's your car. Bash it up all you want. Shoot. Anyway, I say shop. It's free money as far as I'm concerned. Anyhow, a month back, Marty drops me a line and says they're moving into heroin, that they're looking for a partner down around these parts. Can't imagine Sammy was too keen on that. I never told him about the weed. That ain't nothing to nobody. But this, I got to talk to him about. I ain't said more than three words, and he's yelling about the feds. How we don't need J. Edgar up our asses, and what the fuck am I thinking? Selling dope with kids running around the neighborhood. We ain't selling no dope to no children. <laughs> <laughs> like they got any money to begin with. Fucking around. Got police the side. up here too. That was pretty serious shit. Knew a couple guys over in Nam who were running it. Wound up pissing off the wrong person. Got their throats cut. Shit, man, I know what's what. That's why I'm talking to Georgie about it. There's no way Sal's gonna go along with that. Georgie says he can keep his old man from fighting out. We'll still clear the high low in Frisco, just selling the French wall. Georgie's Uncle Lou won't say shit as long as we give him a taste of the action. I don't know, man. George is a cool cat and all, but heroin ain't the kiddie pool. 
I mean on it with us. I bet he'd agree to a three-way split. I don't know. I kind of need to lay low a bit, figure some things out. Yeah. All right. Well, we made it. Through the front. I ain't having your wall here. I ask you the back door. <laughs> here we go. Talk to Sammy. Look who I found panhandling out in front of the train station. Pleasure, man. Boy, I send you to bring Link on Claire home. Not the big nigga who ate him. Well, shit, old man. I finally went somewhere they knew how to cook. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome home, son. How are you? I'll be better once I get some of that shine in me. I always did love corn whiskey. I would like to make a toast. My father used to say that the real worth of a man came from the mark he left on the world. When Lincoln first told me he was joining the military, I was against it. Too dangerous, I say. Let those people fight their own war, I say. But then I realize Lincoln needed to go out and make his mark. And that's precisely what he did. I'm so... so proud of you. Paul Lincoln! Bienvenue à la maison! Yo, cheers, boys. Cheers to that. <laughs> so good. <laughs> nice seeing you, Lincoln. Oh, I kept you in my prayers. I really appreciate that, Father. <laughs> now, who wants to get shit faced? <laughs> Woo! It's hard to explain what it's like coming home from war. Elation, fear, guilt. Imagine being trapped in a dark room and there's no way out. And every fear, every nightmare you ever had is in that room with you. And there's no escape from any of it. And then one day a door opens and you're free to go. Just like that. The thing is, you made your peace with your terror and your fear of death. And now part of you is afraid to leave it behind. But what choice do you have? Every soldier has to walk through that door, one way or another. Man, that whiskey's gonna hoy in the morning. Hell, man, just sleep it off. The room's the same as you left it. I'm gonna take the basement. <laughs> the basement? Why the fuck you wanna crash down there? I'll see you in the morning. Man, that wall must have really fucked you up. That's the thing it actually did. That's the sad part. Oh, man. Go to bed. Why is there a Playboy buddy over here? Hold on a second. Oh, so these are like collectibles. That's pretty awesome. Should we check out what else is down here, too? Nothing of interest so far. <laughs> oh, man. So, Playboys are the little pieces of intel and stuff. That's pretty cool. Anyway, it's time to go to bed. <laughs>